So you have made your reel. You spend hours of hours animating. But these are the common questions that I get frequently. How do you compose your reels? Where do you find the best music and sound effects? I don't have editing knowledge. Where can I start? Which is the best software for editing? Now there are many editing softwares out there and each of them has their own ups and downs. But the one that I personally think is good for the content creator and the beginner users is Filmora. Now when it comes to editing for the new users I usually consider two things. How easy it is to work with the software and is it worth it for the amount of you paying? Now Filmora 40 is one of the best editing softwares for the new users out there. With easy and friendly user interface it has everything you need to have. In today's video I'm gonna walk you through some of the coolest features for this software. Now stay tuned and watch this video until the end as I think this video will answer all of your questions. Now when I opened the Filmora for the first time, the first thing that caught my eye was how easy and friendly user interface was. Everything you need Filmora has it its in own tab. So unlike the Premiere Pro where you need to constantly switch in between tabs, everything in here is organized. Now the interface is similar to CapCut but the shortcuts as far as I'm working is the same as the Premiere Pro. Now, one thing that I love about Filmora is the amount of useful AI tools they have. In each tab, you will find something unique and handy that can save your time and gives you the best result. For example, if we start with the basic video settings, you will see that we have a cool feature such as Auto Enhance where it can immediately increase the quality of the footage. In the color tab, we can choose a preset or we have the same tools for changing the colors in Filmora. And with a new masking tool, you can remove and replace objects really quickly. And things such as stabilization, tracking are inside of the video tab as well. As I have said, everything is packed, jammed and organized. Now, until here, everything is the same. But personally, one of the things that I found out interesting and I think this is one of the best features in Filmora is the amount of high quality assets in the Filmora. Everything you want or possibly imagine, you can find that inside of the Filmora library. So for example, if I want a B-roll for my footage, I can just simply go towards the stock media tab and I can just simply search for it and apply it to my footage. Even if I can't find it, I can use the AI image to generate it. And the generated versions have a good quality. Now, one thing that I personally like and I think Filmora is better than the other video editing software is the audio tab. I used to struggle a lot finding the best song, finding the best sound effects for my projects. But luckily, the library of the Filmora will almost cover all of your needs and if there is something out of the imagination, you can use the AI to bring it to life. The AI tools will help you to get a clean audio in a few clicks and this will save your time editing in Adobe Audition or Audacity, finding a noise gate or changing dynamics to get a good voice. Now the captions and auto translate is one of the fun thing in Filmora. You can change the language of the video or you can create the custom captions in a matter of clicks. Just take a look at how Filmora changed my voice from English to Italian. Beh, 5000 abbonati. Grazie mille per aver subito questo canale. Quando ho iniziato questo canale, io davvero non pensavo che avessi raggiunto questa quantità di abbonati. Meno di un anno. Beh, è un piccolo, la comunità. Ma lo apprezzo ancora. La tua sostegno per tutto questo. Canale. Ora, per mostrare la mia gratitudine, voglio condividere un'opportunità gratis. Suono. Progettazione. Bagno con te che ho raccolto. È finita, quest'anno. Ora. Grazie mille per l'iscrizione. Questo canale. So, one of the coolest features in Filmora 40 is Smart Background Generation. So you can access to that by going in here and you can click on it. And then you can just click on the start and this will automatically create uh, music for your footage. So now, as you see, Filmora just created an automated background music, so let's hear it.
So as you see the music kind of fits the footage that I have in here which is pretty cool. Now another cool feature that I think is worth to mention is auto reframe. You can have access to it in here. Now as soon as you click on it, it will ask you to import your footage and I'm going to import it in here. And then as you see in here we have the aspect ratio which we can change it to the desired ratio that we want. So for example I'm just going to set it on 101. And then we can set the motion speed which is fast, slow and auto. I'm just going to leave it on auto and at the end I'm just going to click on analyze. And as you see it will quickly analyze our footage and as you see now automatically it cropped our uh, footage and as you see this main subject is in the middle which is pretty good and at the end you can just export it or you can add it to the timeline so one of the coolest feature in filmora is the object removal tool you can have access to it in here which as you see it supports only the clips under one minute so we can drag out this footage to let's say just to four seconds for the sake of we do it uh, really fast so i'm just going to click on the object removal tool as soon as i open on it a, a new window will pop up and this in here we have the brush and we can select the areas that we want to remove so for example i would i just want to remove this laptop so let's just select it and by any chance if we select the portion that we don't want we can just use the eraser tool to do that and once you are satisf satisfied with your mm, brush you can just hit on remove and this will automatically remove the subject now we just need to wait for filmora to do its magic and remove the object so now as you see it removed the uh, laptop also, one of the coolest features in Filmora is the image to video tab. In here, you can just choose some of the AI presets that can create a viral video from just an image. For example, you can see by adding two images, you can hug your love or you can have an AI kisses. And we have some funny things such as painting fugitive or also we have some just cool effects such as standify. So by adding an image, you can just simply add an image of yourself and hitting on generate. You can generate these effects in a matter of clicks. Now, usually when it comes to comparison between CapCut and Filmora, the both of these tools will offer a variety of cool effects. You can see that from the audio effects to visual effects, Filmora offers a wide variety of effects that can work in different situations. Now, one thing that grabbed my immediate attention was the template tab, where you have pre-made templates that you can use it for your edits. And these are basically templates that were done in Adobe After Effects and you can simply change it in here without spending too much in Adobe After Effects. Overall, Filmora has a really strong library that I think is the best compared to other video editing softwares. And it saves you money and your time. Now that we have mentioned money, it is time to take a look at Filmora subscriptions to see if it's worth it. Now, Filmora starts at $5 per month to completely buying the software for just $80. And I think the price is really good compared to Adobe subscription, where you need to pay $60 monthly in Europe or CapCut where it starts at $25 per month. And obviously it supports both Windows and Mac, which is good. Now the links are down in the description and you can use them. Now what are my final thoughts about Filmora? I think Filmora is one of the best editing softwares that you can have on your computer. Whether you want to edit or you want to use its library. It's a friendly user software with cool features that saves your time and most importantly it saves your money. Now here we are at the end of this video and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot. Thank you so much. Goodbye.